to Jamaica, one love. It is my honor to call the first general session to order. The theme is a very iry theme, man. It's the top, it's the best. It involves all of the islands in the spirit of Kada. Jamaica, man. This is what it's about. I've been waiting for years. You know, when Kevin ran for VP, he said, you're going to like my theme. And I'm like, how am I going to like your theme? I said, is it Jimmy Buffett? And he said, no, but you're close. Should have guessed. His child's name, Marley. the spirit of camaraderie and friendship and working together to make our schools the best they can possibly be. We are hoping to just steal a bunch of ideas for events. This is my friend Robin here. Hi, Robin. We can't wait to just get a lot of ideas. We're here to steal because <laughs> it's legal. I got excited looking at the sessions this morning as I was planning out my day. I texted my principal and said, I'm already inspired and all I've seen is the titles of the sessions. People in Jamaica are so welcoming and I actually talked to one of our keynote speakers Devin Harris who's from Jamaica um, and I asked him I go you know is that is everyone like that and, he, and the one, he said yes all parts of the country doesn't matter social economics or not everyone's just welcoming it's just part of our culture and that's the culture you want on a campus you know you want kids to feel welcome you should never ever wait until everything is perfect to go pursue your dreams. It will never be perfect. The timing will never be just right. You should never sit around and wait because if you do, you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting. You have to start from where you are with what you have. Your journey starts today, Mon. <laughs> Welcome to Jamaica, one love. Last session, uh, Houston Craft challenged us to change normal. Change normal so that it's better and that we're functioning better. So, first thing I do is I try to find a leadership book that um, I want my students to read. And let me tell you, when you do that personal one-on-one um, -on -one conversation, it means the world to them because they know like that they're leaving a legacy behind. That is like the coolest feeling ever. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2017 Jack Moore Award winner, Ola King Clay. Oh, what a wonderful world. Those words by Louis Armstrong said it all. Cat is a wonderful world. This is a, 
uh, a conference that goes at 100 miles an hour and every, every moment of it is, is priceless. And I would definitely say that everything that I've done, I've been a part of, is absolutely useful and is purposeful and is worthy. Um, I, I am going to take back so many amazing things. By this time of the year, I'm feeling pretty tired and pretty exhausted and CAD is a place to come and get new ideas and feel refreshed and be around people that are also equally excited and equally um, eager to bring those um, great ideas to campus. And so coming here each, each year, just it's, it gives you all those new ideas again and gets you re-energized and re-excited about getting back on campus and doing as much as you can. It's the most friendly group of people, the most interactive group of people that you will find. Um, there is no one who is going to say no or not help you out in the best way they can or direct you to where you can get the help or answers that you need. If you have not been to Cata, you have to come to Cata. I'm locked in for life, even after retirement. I love the theme. It's it's calming. It helps you focus because so many times we're out there and we want to try to do so many different things, but it really says, you know, pick that one thing this year and, and see if you can develop that th further and further. And I've been doing this a lot of years and I still come and I learn every single year something new. I think for us at Life Touch, it's about partnerships. And so it's a good opportunity for us to come and, and get to know our, you know, high schools, the people involved in our schools and really have a chance to have fun with them and get to know them a little bit better on a more social level. So I think it's just building that partnership and this allows us the opportunity to do that. Kata, welcome to Habanamon. It's been great. It's my first year here. I'm really excited to be here and uh, you know there's a lot of nice people here that gave us a lot of free things and um, definitely a lot of things I want to bring back to my school and I'm learning a lot from the presenters and it's been a great experience so far for me. Running, walking or crawling? Crawling. Did you go to SeaWorld last night? Crawling. What are you doing today, Bob? Crawling. I'm crawling around the course so people <laughs> know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. I see so much division in our country and things, and it really bothers me. It actually hurts me. And what you guys do on a daily basis to teach selfless service, to love one another, and to help one another is really what will save this country. It really is, and you do it on a daily basis. Thank you. I would like to think that the reason I'm here is because teaching is that one love. And the fact that it is the theme, one love, 
it's just perfect, right? Because that's what it takes. We're not there because of the salaries. We're not there because of all the benefits. We're there for the kids. That's, that's why we're there. We love what we do and we love seeing that, that outcome. And um, it's perfect. If you take time to celebrate it every day, you'll find them. You'll find those kids that you changed their lives one day. Little, little relationships that you made that made a difference. And that's what keeps you coming back. Because ladies and gentlemen, the students of our schools, our campuses all over this great state, they need you. They're watching you. You're the one that's making the memories for school. You're the one that's making that place the unique place for them. They need you. They need you. And we need you to keep coming back. The best thing about CATA people is, you know, you, you talk about the one love, everyone wants to help everyone and they love everyone and they just, it's, it's never like, hey, I have this really cool thing, um, I'm hiding it away and you can't have it. And we all are in this for kids, that's why we're all here. And whether that kid is at my school in Southern California or your school in Northern California or your school in Canada, it really doesn't matter, it's still kids and we want to help kids all, all everywhere because in the long run, when that happens, the world's just a better place. I know it's kind of a cliche, but it's true.